Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to use Ajax Autocomplete Extender on a text box control in ASP.NET. And here we got the final output. When I enter some text like C, B is Ben. C, Charan Jack is there. When I enter S, Sandra and Samantha is displaying from the database. Notice in the source code, I have already added the header controls H1 and H2 and one text box control. Now my aim is I want to add the Ajax Autocomplete Extender tool to this text box control. Before adding the Ajax controls to this web form, let's check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser. Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that source code on the browser with the header tags and one text box control. When a user type any name, like suppose my name is Charan, this autocomplete extender will get the records from the database and display below the text box control. Let's switch back to the ASP.NET source code and finish the coding part. I'm back to the source code. The first thing when we want to implement the Ajax controls, the Ajax Toolkit reference DLL libraries in our project. If you don't know how to add the Ajax Toolkit libraries, I already made a video on that. At the end of this video tutorial, you will get that video link. Now let's get back to the coding part. Below the form tag, I'm adding the script manager. I'm expanding the Ajax extensions script manager. After adding the script manager, I need to add the Ajax Autocomplete Extended Tool which I am adding below the text box control. Toolbox. I am expanding the Ajax Toolbox folder. Here the Autocomplete Extender. Click that one. And notice when I added the Ajax Toolkit here, it's automatically the registered directory is added below the page directory. I am changing the text box ID text such right click the source code go to view code when we want to connect to SQL server database in ASP.NET we need to import the namespaces which I am adding here using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration we need the namespaces of web services also using system dot web dot services using system dot web dot script dot services after adding the five namespaces now below the page load event I'm creating a function public static the list string type get username string such name now above this method I'm adding web method and script method String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes. I'm adding my connection string name which I have stored in the web.config file. Go to solution explorer web.config file. Now notice between the connection strings I have two connections. I'm choosing the connection, the top one. I'm pasting here. Dot connection string. SQL connection. SQL con is equals to new SQL connection. 
which takes a parameter of this one main con paste here SQL connection dot open method string SQL query is equals to the SQL query is before writing the select statement to search the usernames let's visit my database table the table name I'm using the dbo.userRage and the searching the usernames is the second column of this table let's get back to the coding part select start from the table name is dbo.userRage copy that and paste here where the column name is username like percentage percentage at such text SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query and the second parameter is the SQL connection variable which is this one SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes at this such text comma and the second parameter is the object value which is a such name SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes the parameter of SQL command data table dt is equals to new data table sda dot fill method and filling the data with data table i am adding the list class here string type is names is equals to new list string for int i is equal to 0 i is less than data table dot rows dot count i plus plus names dot add method dt dot rows The first array is the index. The index value is the i, and the second, the column name, which is a username in the table, one dot two string, and and the return names. That's it. We have done the coding part. The main part switch back to the source code we need to add some important properties the first one is the target control id which is a text search and the second one is a, the service method the service method which is get username enable caching is equals to true the minimum prefix length for the searching is one compilation set count is equals to one and completion interval is equals to 
10 and these are the important properties we must add in this autocomplete extender and in the script manager enable page methods is equals to true that's it we have done the designing and coding part now it's time to check the results on the google chrome google chrome and here we got the final output when i enter some text like c b is ben c children jack is there when i enter s sandra and samantha is displaying from the database that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos